On this episode of Two Conks Adventures, JC and Tucker Carlson are joined by their lifelong friends, Michael Ruiz and Alex Mohara, for some fun fishing in their local waters. With a well full of goggle eyes and some new tigress kites, the boys are ready for whatever fish might show up in their spread. My name is JC Carlson, and this is my brother Tucker. We are the next generation of captains in the Two Conks Sport Fishing Fleet. We've spent our whole lives on the water learning from our dad, Jack, and one day we'll take over the family business. But for now, join us on our wild adventures, growing up and getting tight in the Florida Keys and beyond. This is Two Conks Adventures. Today, the boys are fishing their home waters in Marathon, Florida. They're starting the day trolling lipped lures for Wahoo on their way to the first spot. We might have marked a couple of seconds. Down, down about 70. JC and Tucker are joined by lifelong friends Michael Ruiz and Alex Moharic, who both work as first mates in the Two Conks Sport Fishing Fleet. Oh boy. Yo, that thing's taking off, bro. Is it a buoy? I don't see no buoy. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm backing down on the wild. <laughs> I'm backing down really on the wild on the wild. I don't know what it is. It's like this dead weight. It might have snagged something. Still feel it on there? Mike couldn't even catch him. He couldn't catch a Marlin in Costa Rica for sure. Dude, they're backing down way faster than this. Way faster? You got to reel way faster. Marlin gone. <laughs> gone, gone forever. Dude, that is super weird. Yeah, we snagged it. Right. They're the not snagging the damn right. <laughs> oh, oh there's color. something. What the hell is that? Get the gas. Just in case. Mike, get the gas. <laughs> It's a go live group. <laughs> move, move. The biggest piece of grass I've ever seen. Did you start doing this on my back? What is that? Look at that rope. Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. Oh. I think it's somebody's bag. I think it's somebody's bag. It's bad in here. It's coming up. It's coming. There's a weight on the bottom. Show for show. I got that. Yo. Or cut it or something. Yo, look at that pig. Get my lure back. Get my lure back. Get the lure, Mike. Alright, now pull it up. Give us a lobster. Yeah, give us a lobster. <laughs> Come on, I want my lobster to all back. I don't want to catch the pig again. <laughs> Yo, pull it up. Alright, drag it off. <laughs> Yo, pull it up. Hey, That's that good trap. Give the me the stick. knife. And just cut it right here. Save the environment, man. Well, what the? Hey, we look cool doing it. And it's right on top of the spot, bro. <laughs> All right, so we just got out here. We got Tucker, myself. We got two of the boys, Alex and Mike. And we just came out here today, to see if we can't catch a wahoo. There's been a good wahoo bite. Fly the kites, catch a sailfish. Who knows, we're just gonna try it all today, see what happens. Today, Tigress, we just got a bunch of new gear from them, like new kites and new flags and all that stuff. So hopefully we put some flags up and some kites up and get a sailfish or something. A couple nights ago, we went out and caught these fresh goggle eyes. So got a well full of fresh goggle eyes, great bait, and gonna put them out and see what happens.
Got the AFW wire sending. Look at that. Atta boy. Put on your hip. Yeah. Put on your hip. He knows we're getting the pocket thing on. Stay up front, please. Bro. Popped off. Damn. Got me in the red. Lost your AP, boy. That was your boy. This series is brought to you by Two Conk Sport Fishing. With a brand new high-end tackle shop and a fleet of boats ranging from 17 to 39 feet, Two Conks has you covered on the flats, in the gulf, and offshore. Visit the shop and book the fishing trip of a lifetime today. Yeah, boy! Yeah! Come on! Get your over here! What you got there, Chuck? Bring him over! Move that rod out of the way. Follow your feet! Come here, come over it. Follow your feet! You got the gap? Kingfish, get the gap, Mike. Grab that. It's big, whatever it is. There we go, got ourselves a kingfish. Nice kingfish. Kingfish in the box. Up to the box. All right, well, that's a good start. So, got ourselves a nice little kingfish. But not what we're looking for, but still, still a fun, cool fight, you know. Still something to eat as well. Good job sticking in, Mike. Now we know that there's actually fish here, so there might be a wahoo around. So, let's keep trying. Let's get ourselves a wahoo. There he is, look, cast it right under that weed patch. It's right there. See that weed patch right under the bird? Come on, somebody. Tighten up, tighten up. You can get those rods, man. I don't know if he spit it now. There you go. Do you see him? Yeah, it's a tuna. Dolphin, drop it, drop oh. it, drop it, drop it. I dropped it. What was it? Dolphin. Money. Rod tip in the water, in the water. There you go. Nice. Mahi. Awesome. Yeah, get my head, boys. Get him on, get him on. On the wire, on the wire. Oh, drop it, drop it. He's eating it again. Rod tip in the water. Damn, he loves that Why thing. Why you f***ing in the water, dude? To hook him. Golly. The circle hook. Yeah, I'd leave it out there. Decent bull. See what happens. He could find us. So, I see this frigate bird while we're running out here, trying to set up for sail fish in an area I like, and uh, I see this frigate bird going down, and Tucker throws out his gog line, hooks up to this nice little bull head. Nice. Hey. Good job, my boy. To the box we go. Woo. Yeah. yeah. Now, now we got blood everywhere, but that's all right. Dude, that mahi ate mahi. that bait three different times. All right, so we just got over fishing for the mahis under the frigate birds. We saw a couple more, didn't work out, but we got the kite spread out. Now we got two kites out, four baits, fishing two baits on each kite. We're gonna see if we can't pick up anything. We can still pick up our mahi, tuna, sailfish, but we've got our tiger's kites out there, one in the rigger to get it out away from the boat. And just gonna see what happens. We got these nice fresh goggle eyes that we caught the other night. And we're gonna see what happens. I like kite fishing because 
you never know what you can get in something like a sailfish or a kingfish or anything cool like that. You smoke anything on the surface like that, which is mahi, it's pretty cool. Right now we're just waiting for the bite. Patiently. Patience is key. Yeah, open your shore. Open your shore. Open your shore, Doug. Yep. Wine, 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 wine. <laughs> Tucker, yours is tiny. Alex, <laughs> go over the top. So cute. So cute. Alex, you spit it. Drop it. Yeah, I've been dropping it. Here you come over the top. Alex has the better one. We want to catch that one. Alex, you have the better one? Nah, he spit it he in. Had Jumped it. With it. Bring it up. Probably another. He's going right to Mike. Mike, drop your short. Drop your short. Your short. Yeah, he's coming at you, Mike. There's two on you. There's a couple fish over there. Oh, just get like a free rod or something. Now, wine. Take it out of the holder. Hold it down low. Wine. Is that your long? That's my short. All right, go. Yeah, the drag. Wind on it, dude. Wine, 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 wine. Watch out, guy. Move. Move. Watch out, guy. I'm going over there, yo, bro. Yo, You're so calm stupid. Down. Calm down. Yo, there's a decent fish under there, Alex. Straight back. Yo, mine's fit, I think. You got to keep it tight, Dude, guys. someone get a flat line. Keep it tight. Okay. You all got the smoke from the mine, dude. Hey, Damn, man. that's some action, you bro. You guys got straight work. In. Tucker. What? We need to set up these kites again. All right. Drop it, Mike, drop it, drop it, drop it. They hit my goggle out around like Come four times. Come tight to it a little bit. A little more. Oh, yeah, wine tight. I'm tight, I'm tight, I'm tight, I'm tight. The drag. Mike, don't put it on your arm, bro. Jesus Christ. Put it on your hips down low. Wine, 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 wine. All right, now pick up. Then we're gonna lead her. Take it to the bow and we'll lead her. Nah, he's got it. We'll lead her at the bow so we can just flip it in. He's got it. So what we're gonna do is talk. What? We're gonna bring this your Pork kite in. We ain't done yeah. yet. Say the color, which one? The yellow. We're gonna pull the yellow in and rebate that one. In the box. Coming in. He popped the hook as soon as he came in. What is this? Got the bull and cow tournament? What is this? The bull and cow tournament? <laughs> nah, boys. Nah, tight fishing seminar. I think that bite was pretty sick. I got to see him eat. He jumped a couple Here, times. Here, you want your hook back needle? Pretty cool. Take your hook back. It's tied in this now. Pretty cool to watch him eat on the surface. That always amazes me. So this wind died out. So now we're going to put these live baits out. These goggle eyes and bump trolling with the Tigris outriggers and see if we can't catch something cool. Do the same deal with the goggle eyes. Dude, I put it down with the 
Only I could have made it. <laughs> Keep going there a little is. further, he's like lining there up with it. No, he's not, he's not that big. After a tough bite, the boys head back to the dock to regroup and get ready for a new day in the water. All right, so it's day two. We're out here for redemption. We got both kites up, and we're going to see what can happen. We got these fresh goggle eyes again that we caught the other day, and we're putting them out. We're out here on the edge. We got both tigers kites out, see what can happen, you know, and hoping for that kingfish, sailfish, wahoo, mahi. You never know what's gonna eat these kite baits, but a lot of times you also get bites on this other side, drifting off the side, off the flat lines. You can drop a bottom rig as well as you're doing this side with drifting stuff. So let's see what we can get into today. That's him! That's him! As soon as I get this in, I'm gonna have to back down. Y'all are good up there. Oh. I know, but he could be around it. He ran far. Big wave, hold on. All right, so we moved down the road a little bit, put out another kite spread, and here we are. We got tight on the on the right long. Smoked the goggle eye, came tight with it. And here we are. Up and down, he jumped a few times really good for us. Get him, Allen boy! Only a couple good breaks left, boy. I got a fish right here. Coming up in the wave over there. Coming down the way, you see him, guys? Oh, look at him, Tim! Tim walking! Yeah! Shaking his head, look at him! Yeah, that boy! Look at him go! Got him on, got him on. My boy had a tight. Been a grind the past two days. We definitely put in some hours of this. But finally, we got the boy that we want. That boy Alex is killing it. On the rough stuff, man. They like that rough. Oh, yeah. They like that rough stuff, brother. There he is. He's coming up. He's coming up right there. Look at that. Go to the other side of the boat, Tucker, right here, right here, right here. Got a catch, baby. Good job, guys. Good job, good job. 
Oh, easy. Got it. Walk back there, walk back there. It's all right, one more time. Awesome. Got him. All right. Got him. You see this? Bring him here, awesome job. All right, so we put out a sick kite. We put out a sick kite spread and what do you know? This big sail came in and it was an awesome bite for us. You know what I mean? On the kite, we've been putting our time in. We got the baits for it. and. This is what we've been waiting for right here. And that's why I use them rubber bands right there on them baits. Put your time yeah, in. Boy. Those baits are fully exposed. Let's get them back in the water. Go ahead, Tuck. He's a really sought after fish for the sport fishing industry. And we really like to keep these fish really healthy and keep them going. So we're gonna revive this fish, get them back healthy and let them go. So somebody else can catch them one day. All right, boys, so it was a long two days. We are trying to get what we wanted, but day two at the end of the drift, finally got that sailfish that we wanted, and it was epic. He was jumping all over. Just getting out there with the boys was a fun time. We're heading back to the dock now. We're about How was we it? we got the sail, baby! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Two days of kite fishing, four rods out every day, every second. Oh, yeah, got our tiger's flag flying high for us right now. Join us on the next episode for another Two Conks Adventure.